So now it stopped turning completely, and uh, I guess because the wind, the wind completely almost died. There's no wind at this time, and I'm curious. The next question I'm asking myself is, how strong of a wind should I have before it start turning? Or well, I cannot determine at this time. Uh, the next thing I, I was trying to do is to have. Uh, to see how much power it generates, I plug this little motor to it and I see it turning. Actually, it was retaining, it was retaining for quite a while, and I decided to take measurement and see how many volts, uh, what the voltage can put out. And unfortunately, the wind died, so I cannot make that experiment right now unless I had some wind again. And I will have try with the voltage and the next thing with um, amperage and see what I get. But at this point, I cannot do it anymore. With this wind and the blade turning at this speed, I'm getting 0.5 volt out, only 0.5 volt. And uh, the wind seems to catch up again, so I'm gonna wait and see if it. Catches. I'm going to wait and see how much voltage it puts out. Yeah. Daddy. Yes, Imelda. volt there almost no wind at this point I should have uh, found a anemometer to give you an idea of how much wind we have at this point but I don't have one and I have to rely on my nose basically so 2.4 2.3 volt with this wind Daddy, 1.8 1.6 I'm curious how much it could have been at the height at the height the highest of the wind early, uh, early. So right now I'm getting 1.1 1 .1. And the wind almost died completely 1.2, 1.10 Complete stop Where are your shoes? Where are your shoes? Disappear. Disappear. Uh -huh, disappear. So complete stop. I will come back later to have to further my experiment, and the next time probably I will go on the mountain to uh, to try that and see how much wind I can get because I, after all this is expected to run in if in the mountain area, in the, mount, in the mountainous area. And uh, at this point, no wings. Good. I'm going to stop at this point and try continue experiment later.